Hello, and welcome to a video on how to make a Hytale server. Hytale is a sandbox RPG with procedurally generated environments and a Minecraft-inspired art style. Hytale includes several procedurally generated areas of the world, known as zones, made up of many biomes, blocks, and mobs. This mode will feature RPG-styled combat for single-player and multiplayer, and include dynamic boss encounters and dungeon exploration, and much more. The first step is to go to scalycube.com and click Sign Up to create a new account. Once this is done, log into your account and make your way to Servers. Click on Buy Server and select Hytale. Click on Get Your Server. Select your location and click Next. Select the amount of resources and player slots you would like your server to have and click on Next. The next step is to select a server address for your server. For this video, we are selecting the default IP with port. This can be changed later. Click on Next. Here you can select any additional applications for your server. These can be selected at a later date if required. Confirm your server details and click on Pay. All new Hytale servers will automatically be given a 50% purchase discount for the first month. Select your payment method and finalize your payment. Once the server has been purchased, make your way to the Servers tab and click on Manage Server. Clicking on Console will allow you to see server-specific details of your server. Clicking on Settings will allow you to change server-specific settings down to the configuration files. Clicking on File Manager will allow you to manage your server files if you need to remove, add, or replace any files. If we go back to the Game Servers page and click on the Backup System, we can set up a server automatic backup feature so no data would be lost in the future. Clicking on Sites allows you to create a free website for your server. Clicking on Applications allows you to use the many features offered for your server, including PHP MyAdmin, SSH Server, MySQL, Web Server, FTP Server, PHP, and Java. Going to FTP users allows you to see specific details required to connect your server with an FTP client for easier server file management. Clicking on Scheduled Tasks allows you to set a scheduled task on your server to act as your server, like restarting or entering a command in the console for more automation. If we click on Monitoring, we can see the resource usage of our server and plan our mods or plugins accordingly to how many resources we own. Just in case this video is not fully explained, I've also put a link in the description to the Scalacube website to the same guide explaining the same method step-by-step -step with images. That is all for me today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.